He was a teenage prodigy joining the Woody Herman Band in the summer between his junior and senior year of high school. He had his own individual personal sound with a slight influence from both Dizzy Gillespie and Kenny Dorham. Who was Connie Condoli? Here on Big on Bebop. He was born Secondo Condoli, July 12, 1927, in Mishawaka, Indiana. He studied the trumpet with his older brother Pete, played in groups around South Bend, Indiana. During the summer of 1943, while at Mishawaka High School, he sat in with Woody Herman's first herd. After graduating in 1945, he joined the band full time, where he sat side by side with his brother Pete in the trumpet section. His first recorded solo was Put That Ring on My Finger. He served in the Army from 1945 to 1946. Toured Scandinavia with Chubby Jackson Sextet in 1947 and 1948. With Stan Kenton in 48, Charlie Ventura in 1949, Woody Herman in 1950, Charlie Barnett in 1951, and back with Kenton in 1952. In 1954, after leaving Stan Kenton, Condoli formed his own group with sidemen Chubby Jackson, Frank Rosalino, and Lou Levy. He soon moved to Los Angeles to join the Lighthouse All-Stars with Shorty Rogers, Bud Shank, and Bob Cooper, and was with them until 1960. Freelance with Terry Gibbs from 1960 to 1962, and with Jerry Mulligan in 60 to 61, which included a European tour. Played with Shelley Mann from 61 to 72, and then Stan Kenton's Neophonic Orchestra from 1965 to 69. In 1968, he played with Doc Severinsen's Tonight Show Orchestra during the West Coast visits and became a permanent member when the show moved to Los Angeles in 1972. Also played on the Flip Wilson TV show from 1970 to 74, appeared off and on with Super Sax in 1972, Played with Bill Berry Band and co-led the Condoli Brothers with his brother Pete. Toured Europe with Frank Rosalino in 1975 and won the L.A. Jazz Society Award in 1990. Condoli was inducted into the International Jazz Hall of Fame in 1997. Connie Condoli died of cancer at the age of 74 in Palm Desert, California in December 2001. He was a highly respected teacher and performer. He based his style on Dizzy Gillespie in the mid-40s, adding Miles Davis and Clifford Brown influences into the 50s. He was an excellent sight reader with a beautiful tone. He stood out in both big bands and small combos. Connie Condoli, a wonderful bebop trumpet player. <laughs> 